what is going on party people so uh, I am going to show you how to make a hairbrush and I've already made one and this is just a nice hairbrush and I also have a little blocking brush that I have I made kind of a charcoal brush because I know Photoshop has one and I just wanted to have one but I'm gonna show you how to make this hairbrush and I can show you how to make this charcoal brush as well and yes I do have an entire class on drawing in sketchbook pro and it's free you should get it because it's free so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I got this little marker here that I use I made my own little custom marker and I believe I'm gonna have to re-release the this set because I've changed a lot of stuff in here uh, or maybe have like a part two of it so what I want to do is I have this selected so first step you want to have a brush selected you're gonna go over here and I'm sorry let me let's do this the right way right over here where your tools are at you're going to go and this tiny little icon up here and you see you already have a brush selected so you're going to go over here to this little spindle and you're going to choose not copy but you're going to pick new brush and you're going to decide which brush it's going to be based on I chose synthetic paint so I'm going to hit synthetic paint and so I got this right here now what I should have done <laughs> was this I'm going to go here for this pencil so yeah let's, let's so I, I still have this uh, saved over here where it says do-it-yourself brush I'm gonna go back here over pencil and I'm just gonna make some dots doesn't make a difference how you make the dots what I like to do is to make sure that um, they are it's not too much spacing in them but we can fix that up later and it doesn't have to be a lot of dots but I think I just put some in here because I'm just trying to make a different brush from the one that I already had and let's do that so we're gonna go back here and select this we're gonna double click onto it and you see we got all these uh, you have all these choices right here what I'm also what I want to do is go where it says advanced and we're simply going to not import but we're going to tap on capture and you can see I got this big this uh, rel relatively bigger circle here I'm gonna hit my bracket key and I'm gonna increase that till it covers the whole thing and I'm gonna press down on it now I have this brush and that's your hairbrush now we wanna now what I wanna do is I wanna adjust this a little bit I'm gonna soften this up and and by the way this has this is going to be how you want to do this so I've softened this brush up um, radius with heavy pressure radius with light pressure I can kinda of play with that a little bit so look at that so I'm, I think I'm gonna have this for a more of a thinner hairbrush if I increase it if I increase the radius with light pressure it makes it opens the it opens it up a little bit more but if I go ahead and take radius with light pressure you see I'm closing it off and so it kind of fades off at the end maybe I'm gonna increase that just a little bit more and maybe radius with heavy pressure and, all, and you, what you can do is just play with it until you get a consistency that you like because it's all about making your brushes uh, making your brushes yours and so we're gonna go with roundness you can play with the roundness a little bit and see maybe you like so that's interesting so you possibly could like that a little bit and think about the hairbrush but it's entirely up to you and I don't know if I would not really um, go ahead and play with the rotation randomize but what I would do is go we have rotate to stroke on which is good um, and I don't want to turn that off I don't know, actually I kinda like that I, know, I think I'll keep it like that so let's uh, take where it goes rotation dynamics you could take that off like I said all these brushes are about how you want to represent them so the flow if you wanna make the flow a little bit it just depends on how you want to make hair but this makes making hair a lot easier 
and the strength is you could bring it up to 100 percent and what you and what you really can tell is if you have let's have some fun blue hair here that way you can really see what it can do you can see how it acts and so that is a very <coughs> simple hairbrush now we want to save this I'm gonna click on to the icon it's already selected I'm going to delete that and I'm going to name this hair brush 2 and I'm gonna click this little uh, I'm gonna click right here where it says use texture as icon I, I guess I didn't have to do that or but I'm doing that that's how I kind of like that so now I have two hair brushes that kind of look the same I'm probably not gonna I don't know I might keep both of them they are a little bit different gives me a bit different texture probably let's see not that much different all right so that is how you make your very own custom hairbrush so now you don't have to not have your own hairbrush and as long as I'm here I might as well just show you how I made my show you how I made my blocking in my semi um, this kind of charcoal brush I was kind of experimenting with a few things and pretty much it's this image right it's that squared off image so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take I'm gonna take my pencil again and I already know that I'm gonna capture it I'm gonna turn this to black and maybe I'll mix this up a little bit I'll take this marker make a line across and then, and then I'll just kinda I want to make this one a little bit different. I'm going to put some lines around here. I just, I kind of want to keep this square. And I'm not really, I'm not really going to go beyond this rectangle. I shouldn't say square. I should say rectangle. I apologize. Let's see what this one does. And I am going to go to copy brush we're gonna to go to new brush I'm gonna hit standard for this because it's not gonna be uh, in synthetic it's not a smudge brush I am hit create and you see I still got the icon you're gonna double tap it again and we're gonna to go to advanced we're gonna go down hit capture now I'm gonna increase my brackets till I get that whole image right there I'm gonna capture it I want to change colors because some of this is also very much trial and error you may so this is okay because I know there's a lot of videos out there where you see people that are just blocking in big colors and maybe you're not working on Photoshop and maybe you are working with Sketchbook Pro and so this is just a matter of just having this is just a matter of if you want to you're just adjusting it to how it fits your hand and so I just suggested that a little bit but this is just a big blocking in kind of brush and what you want to do is play with these hopefully this isn't going to crash on me because I got brand new recording software and so rotate to stroke I don't know if I really want to keep that on let's see what that does that's, uh, that's kind of interesting but I think I just kind of like keeping it uh, it's kind of keep I think I'm gonna turn it off for now and we're gonna go shape I don't want to go shape and color because that'll leave it that so we're just gonna keep it through shape that changes it a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and save this oh actually it, it's already saved because I captured the image right away but I am gonna rename it so I'm gonna rename this one blocking brush two, and I, I have it saved with all of my custom brushes and use textures icon it's already clicked 
So there we go. And that is how you can make your own custom set of brushes. If you guys want to learn, uh, if you guys want more uh, to learn how to really use Sketchbook Pro, which is on version eight right now, uh, please feel free to click the link. Uh, if you are if you are watching this on YouTube, uh, click the link and uh, go grab the uh, my free Sketchbook Pro training course. All right, peace.